We did not find this whale fall on porpoise. While we're at this <laughs> end, could we, could we zoom in on the baleen a little bit while we're at this end? Thank you for your clever Oh, jokes. you're still shaking off. Okay, never mind. All right, so we're approaching from the tail. That would be um, the peduncle. So right where uh, the pinch point is that goes out to the fluke. That was a male we just passed on the tail. See these vertebrae coming up. Out to the ribs as we come up and then upwards to the jaw and where we saw the baleen. Covered in scavengers. It's a happy day to be an octopus. Oh, we're thinking this is four to five meters long. Can you zoom on those worms, please? Sure. So notice the red in some of these worms. It's thought that they have hemoglobin in there to help capture some sulfide, or at least that's what's true of vent worms. Why are these guys red? Hmm. Well, whale falls at later stages do become chemosynthetic ecosystems as the bones are broken down. That's a good point. Uh, I was also reading that in whale falls, the, the vertebrae that are in the rear portion, rear half of the skeleton, have more fats and oils in them than wow. in the front part. What is all that? What is all is that? Is that larvae being... No, wait, larvae don't. What is happening? There are a lot of small things swimming around yeah, <laughs> or floating small. around. I wonder if they could just be little, like little coconuts, do you think? Itty bitty little creatures taking Not advantage sure. too. But it's like they're emanating from the carcass. This is great. Wow, well, look Here's at the ribs. look at the cartilage between the vertebrae. Yeah, where you're looking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's do you a guys nice place to rest. Do you guys want lasers <laughs> on for all these shots, or? Oh, you know, let's take the lasers off. I can now. get that for you, Mike. Yep, thanks. So you know, you just had a big meal. It's like post Thanksgiving, <laughs> yeah, right? You yeah. just oh, <laughs> gotta sit on the uh, sofa for a while. Oh my god, all of them. <laughs> 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 They're all, all their. All their attention is in digestion right now. <laughs> yeah, four to five meters could be, like we said, a full-grown minke whale, smaller whale, or it could be a juvenile of several different species. So humpbacks use the sanctuary waters, blue whales, Do you want to be whales. facing the head or this profile? Is, no, this is good right here. Wow. Oh, great. Interesting field of tube worms over there in the background, too. So those are the bone worms? Yes. You can see them. There's sort of a, um, a red internal down to cavity that you see with a white around it, and then it flares at the end, and you can oh see a couple man, different man, <laughs> yeah, So you can actually see some of those um, baleen plates that are there, the actual ridges. So the biggest baleen plates um, end up sort of uh, closer to the front, and then you end up back with accessory plates do 15 um, that meters thrill at out into these hairs at the end. So but I'm down to 15. Oh, well, that octopus looks like it's taking a little taste uh, yeah. or sniff with its suckers. So they have chemo sensing abilities in some of the suckers. Right. It's pretty neat to see the structure of the baleen. Yeah. I've never seen recently dead baleen. <laughs> baleen plates like this? I've seen it dried. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, not like this. That's why. So go back into auto head because it's off. Yeah, so the arc of the jawbone there, and then connecting back on the left, you have the ribs. You can see the spinal column, the spinal cord, vertebrae go starting to go down the middle. Great shot. Wow. I'm going to say this looks it's like the rostrum painting. is slightly arched, <laughs> not moderately arched. I know, this is, this will be mm -hmm. so next. Aaron's uh, no. piece de resistance. And yeah. that brings us to Balenopteridae, or S. Crick. Tiadi. Oh, which and would be whale. gray whale. Um, either gray whale or rorqual. So now we look at. Yeah, the um, rorqual group could be a lot. If the nasal passages are large, which we won't be able to see because it's upside down. Hmm. Rundles exposed on vertex. Heart? Do you want to yeah. That's what I was thinking that. was the heart because yeah. it's connected to a tube like maybe in the aorta or some other. So yeah, is that the big tubes that the right, Chris was saying is associated art. with the arteries? Uh -huh, wow. In aorta. That is neat. Right, and if you've ever gone to a display of a blue whale heart, you know, children can go through the chambers of a blue yeah, whale heart. Right. It's the size of a, a small car. So um, these, it's 
really magnificent, the size of these animals. So this is a, a relatively small whale. Yes. Yes. Is it, is it possible that it's just a young whale? Yes. Well, 